I'm not really sure how much I want to put my tits on the internet. Hi friends, I'm Coley, this is Sweet Peaches Nutrition, and today I want to talk not about food, but nutrition and feeling good, which is joyful movement, which you may call exercise, but I just have a lot of hang-ups with the whole diet culture, calories in versus calories out, you know, if I exercise I can just be a little bit smaller, a little bit better in the eyes of society, whatever. So I enjoy moving to make my body feel good, to make my brain feel good, and I have found some pieces of clothing, equipment, accessories that have really made it so much more enjoyable to go out and do things and be active. And so I wanted to share those with you today. Okay, so this first thing has seriously been the biggest game changer. If you haven't noticed by now, I have massive tits and they just get in the way when you're trying to exercise. Like nothing is more annoying than being held back by like bouncing boobs or like you can't move your body because your boobs are in the way. You just want to enjoy yourself. And so finding a sports bra that works has been key like before i just thought i had to fit into like the standard over your head like small medium large and none of them worked because of the shape of my body so for reference i'm a uk 34 ff which i think is like a us 34 h and so of course they weren't gonna fit because i needed a small band and enough fabric to cover my boobs so that is where this comes in oh. This is the Panache High Impact Sports Bra. It has an underwire and it is amazing. So it comes in bra sizes and has clips on the back so you can adjust it like a normal bra. Also the straps are adjustable and it has a J hook. So if you wanna make it into a racer back, you can. And it is just so supportive and comfortable. It has this like padded channel that the underwire runs through and so you barely even feel the underwire and it's really padded throughout, so nothing like really digs in. And then in the center, there's this little bit of padding where the wires come together, and it like keeps your boobs separated because uniboob, I feel like people joke about that as like being unattractive or whatever, but it's also really uncomfortable to have your boobs like squished in together. So this like keeps your boobs separated and contained and they don't get in the way. And seriously, like if you are a fuller busted person, I highly recommend checking this out. It has been such a game changer. Okay, next up is this top by Pearl Azumi, which is a cycling brand. And so this is like technically a cycling jersey, but I like that it's like super sleek and minimal. And why I think everyone needs to know about this is that there are pockets on the back. And so a lot of cycling jerseys have pockets because usually, you know, you can't hold something while you're riding your bike. So you might need to put like a snack or your ID or something in there. But like this one is just so simple that it doesn't really get in the way. So you can wear it for any activity you want, but then still have like your ID or your car keys in, on you. And I just think like we need pockets on more things. <laughs> like I want pockets on skirts, I want pockets in dresses, and I want pockets on my workout gear so that I can keep my things with me. <laughs> so I definitely recommend looking into this if you have that issue. I know now more like pants and stuff have pockets in them as well, but it's so easy to slide something on your back and you like don't even like feel it. Next up, continuing on with the clothing theme, are these leggings from Athleta. And why I love them is that they have petite sizes. And it's just so nice to be able to find things that are the right length, like so long I've had to wear pants that are too long, or now I've learned to like hem things for myself. But it's really nice to be able to just buy things that fit you. They also have um, tall sizes as well as some of their stuff comes in plus sizes. I wish that their um, plus size offerings were a little more robust and hopefully they'll continue to work on that. We love a company that understands people do not come in like six sizes. There are more <laughs> shapes and sizes of people. so. I love being able to buy pants in petites, 
These are super high rise, which I love. I am now a high rise convert and I will never go back because I just want my stomach to be contained while I'm working out and I don't have to want to worry about like, you know, like when a band hits you like in the middle of your stomach and it's kind of like rolling down or cutting into you. No more of that. Um, and then because it's so high waisted, the pocket that's on the back is really big and my phone fits in it, which is super nice so that if I'm going on a walk, I can just slide my phone back there and listen to my tunes. So rounding out the clothing section, this one probably seems kind of random, but I am in love with these Bombas socks. I feel like they've been getting a little more mainstream lately, which is super cool, but these are the most comfortable socks ever for like working out or like wearing with sneakers because they have this little tab on the back that sits above the back of your shoe and prevents them from sliding in and also like seriously helps with blisters like if you have a problem with getting blisters a lot from your shoes i highly recommend checking out these socks because of this tab also they're really durable i think these are like five years old and they don't have any holes in them or anything yet so that's handy because sometimes it gets really annoying to have to rebuy stuff when things seem so like disposable like i want my things to last for a little while also, they're a company that gives back. They donate to homeless shelters, which are often in need of socks and don't always get socks as donations, since you can't really donate gently used socks. That's kind of gross. So they donate socks to people who could really use them. So we love that. All right, next up is a good pair of sneakers. Seriously. I think that people like kind of know this, but there's more than just like finding a cute pair you like, especially if your gait is a little abnormal. So I supinate, which means I roll out on my feet. Other people pronate, which means they kind of roll in. But anyway, so my like rolling out of my feet was causing pain in my hips and my knees to the point where like I was having trouble walking at all. And so I was like really torn about going back to physical therapy because I hadn't always had success with that in the past. Anyway, kind of on a whim, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to the store and try to get good shoes and wear them all the time and see if things can get better and like basically changed my life. That's kind of dramatic, but really were a game changer. These are the 990s that have, um, support that keep you from rolling out. I like these, but recently I've heard about, I think it was like the chairman of New Balance supporting Trump, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying New Balances again in the future if that's the case. I can find other sneakers. Hi, editing Coley here. I just wanted to jump in and expand on this a little more. I am not going to lie to you, a couple months ago I probably wouldn't have thought that much about the companies that I was supporting but now I've been paying attention to our companies speaking out about the Black Lives Matter movement are they showing diverse models on their websites I mean if you're a big company it doesn't really do any good to just say yeah Black Lives Matter are you making a donation are you putting your money where your mouth is are you changing the way your company runs it all and so that's why I mentioned the bit about New Balance and not really wanting to actively be like, yeah, go buy New Balance shoes. Um, however, I was really happy to see that a lot of the other companies I talked about did seem to make a statement, um, you know, especially like Bear Republic, a sunblock company, shows um, models of all different skin tones, which is super important because sunblock isn't just for white people and things like that. So uh, please, if you notice something that I missed, draw my attention to it, but I'm trying to be, uh, hold myself more accountable in who I'm giving my money to and who I'm recommending and supporting. So just wanted to elaborate on that a little bit. But seriously, going to like a running or walking store where they sell a lot of sneakers and talking with someone, they can help you figure out what will work best for you. Uh, often they have like a machine that you can like step on and they can see your gait and see like what needs to be kind of supported or corrected by shoes and I highly recommend. And then in conjunction with these are um, insoles. So I have really high arches, 
Um, so I got these insoles from Tread Labs. Um, the plastic piece on the bottom comes in different uh, heights if you have like low, medium, high, extra high arches. And then this foam piece on top gives support and you can actually buy replacements of just the foam part if it starts to wear down. And then I also got these little foam pieces that slide in here that are for your metatarsals that provide a little more support where your foot uh, kind of bends after your arch where your metatarsals are. And these have been great, seriously. With good insoles and good supportive shoes, I feel unstoppable. So I highly recommend going somewhere and checking out what kind of shoe options are out there for your gait and your arches. So next up are two pieces of swimwear that have been really great for me because when I go swimming, I go to like swim laps, kind of casually, but I don't really care about like looking cute or getting a tan or anything. That's just not my jam. But I do usually want to wear a two-piece just because of like ease of going to the bathroom. Like it's so annoying to like wiggle out of a wet one piece. So I was looking for tops that had good coverage, decent support, and I just didn't want to feel like I was going to fall out of them when I was trying to exercise. So my first one that I've been wearing for a while. So the first one I've been wearing for a while is this one from Athleta. Um, I really like, again, like I said, they have a variety of sizes and also their stuff seems to run true to size, which is really nice because it doesn't really do any good if you carry a range of sizes, if they all run super small and then still people in bigger bodies can't fit into your clothes. But I like this one because of the high neck and um, the zipper makes it super easy to get in and out of, gives you a little extra space, and it's really nice. Also, a lot of their tops do come somewhat bra sized, as in like A to C cup and then like D and double D cup. So if you kind of fall in that like bigger but still fit into like a double D range, they have more like athletic style swim tops that are great. And then now, since I've gotten larger and can really no longer fit into a D double D range. I found uh, another website that rocks. It's called Bravissimo, and they sell like lingerie and stuff too. But they also sell swimwear, and it's bra size swimwear, and it's great. So I got a top from them that's bra sized, and it has good coverage. It stays in place. It's nice because it's like kind of cute but also kind of athletic and I can work out in it no problem. And looking at their website, they actually have a pretty good range of swimwear. They even have some one pieces that are bra sized, which is like super cool because honestly, a lot of one pieces don't have any space for boobs. So I recommend checking that out if you are a fuller busted person. I feel like their website says it ranges anywhere from like double D to like L cup? Not everything, but like they have lots of sizes, which is awesome if you uh, don't fit into the standard sizes that are often offered at stores. It is a U it is a UK company, so shipping took a little longer, especially in the era of COVID, but I didn't have any problem getting things. Okay, and now on to some accessories. So one thing that I absolutely love when I go out, especially when I'm out or exercising alone, is this guy. It's called a road ID and it has a little plate on it that has your information on it. So in case you were to get hurt or something or be found, someone would know who you are. So mine has my name and my birthday, two emergency contact information, people, and then that I have a latex allergy and I'm an organ donor because that's very important to me. If I get smooshed, I want someone to have my organs. So I wear that when I go exercising, especially if I don't have like my ID or anything on me, just so that if something were to happen, someone would know who I am and who to call. Um, okay, and then I have two kind of toiletry things that I love to use when I'm exercising. First is this deodorant called Lumi. I've tried a lot of natural deodorants and often they work for like about a month and then they just stop working and I feel like your body almost like gets used to it which is super annoying, but I haven't really had that problem with this one. And I like it because it comes in 
a stick, which still is like, it's a cream that comes out of it, but it makes it super easy to put on. And then also comes in a tube. And so it makes it super easy to put other places besides your underarms. I really like to put it under my boobs to prevent under boob sweat if possible because that just really gets annoying. I also like to put it on my thighs to prevent chafing because who has time for that? So I really like this. It's interesting, it's like a cream, but it makes it super easy to rub in wherever you want to. And um, it's kind of expensive, but it has lasted forever. Like I bought a stick tube bundle in October and I'm still working through this stick so kind of pricey up front but it definitely will last you a while and finally if you're gonna be exercising outside it's really important to put sunblock on and I love this Bear Republic sunscreen so this one is for your face and it has such a light powdery feeling it feels really nice when you put it on and like makes you want to put it on because I've definitely had some sunscreens that are really heavy and when you step outside you just feel this like hot layer on your skin and it's not really enjoyable so I like this one I also have a body one that's a slightly different like consistency but also isn't easy to rub in the only thing is that it is a mineral sunscreen so it's a physical barrier not a chemical barrier and the zinc oxide that's the main ingredient can discolor leather so like the first time i got into my car i got sunblock on the leather seats and it kind of made a mess so just be aware of that and like put a towel down or like don't sit on your leather couch right after you put it on but other than that it's super great works well and keeps me from looking like a tomato which is always a plus. And so those are some of my favorite pieces of workout gear and accessories. Kind of like cooking, I don't think that you should have to spend the most money on the fanciest things just because, but I do think that it's worth investing in a few good pieces that are gonna make your life easier. Like for me, a good sports bra and good supportive shoes and i just wanted to share some of my favorite things with you so that hopefully you can find what works best for you to get your body moving because you may feel sore the next day after a good workout but you shouldn't be held back because you have blisters or your tits got in the way i'm just saying so i hope this video was useful for you let me know your favorite piece of gear for getting your body moving in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye so these are um 